Right, another day of dreadful floods in northern New South Wales and southeast Queensland as recovery phase starts to happen in some communities, but others, of course, are bracing for more. Joining me now to bring you the latest of the emergency is Sky News reporter Kenny Heatley on the ground again in McLean in northern New South Wales, which is now completely isolated. Kenny, give us a sense of what it's like on the ground for you tonight. Yes, that's right, Peter. We are trapped with the community here as well. And when we spoke last night, there was a sense of feeling that everything was going to be OK, because you may remember when I was talking to you, the, the water came up to the top of the levee, levee, but it looked like it was peaking and it was going to stay there. And the town actually worked to reinforce the levee height with sandbags. And but as we got through the night, the rivers didn't recede and we've been dealing with some pretty big high tides here through the day and it's been pushing that river level even further up. So again, there's been this uh, almost frantic pace to get more sandbags on top of that levee for just another day. So this is what the locals have been dealing with uh, under very hot conditions. It was pretty hot here today as well. But also we're in to the second day now and we've got a lot more calls from people who have been trapped across the river uh, and they're starting to run out, out of supplies. So Marine Rescue turned up. This was a lot busier here today. Uh, and in town, the, the supplies are running out because the, the roads are cut and the IGA here is out of fresh produce and the, the shelves are starting to get bare. The town is getting low on fuel as well. And so the mood here today, very different to yesterday um, and a little bit of panic, I have to say, and there has been panic buying. But thankfully, as we go mm. to air tonight, the river is just edging slightly down. So hopefully that trend continues, Peter. I understand you spent the day today with a local SES. I mean, I think they are absolutely heroic and it's not just the rescue, uh, you know, episodes that we're seeing now, but of course they'll be there all the way through, uh, through the worst of it, and then the clean-up and everything that comes afterwards. Uh, what, what did you hear today? Well, we actually um, tagged along on a rescue um, where they were actually evacuating people who have been stuck for the past couple of days in homes across this vast sea of uh, flood water with homes just completely cut off. And keep in mind, there's, there's livestock over there as well. And these livestock are just on the bare bits of land that is left and they're just stuck there. And there have been boats that have been ferrying across bales of hay as well. So all throughout the day, it's just been trip after trip after trip, going and getting people and bringing them back here. But we were actually earlier tonight, we were on food drops with Marine Rescue going over there and the people that are still over there a focus just making sure that they can get through the next couple of days enough for the river to recede that they can get out themselves so it's just keep keeping people going that are over there as well that are completely cut off with just bare essentials bags of food uh, so it is a big operation here everyone is working together but it's unknown how long this is going to go on for. Mm. And if we get more rain, I mean, that's a big issue. It's just started to sprinkle now. And there's more severe storms possible over the next couple of days. So heavens knows what's going to happen here. Kenny, my viewers have sent me messages over the last couple of days saying you're doing a magnificent job. They feel like they're absolutely getting all the information they need. You look after yourself uh, and hopefully we'll talk to you again tomorrow night.